As you know, it's been very hot this week, and so we've got to make sure that we're looking after ourselves and taking precautions to stay safe while we're out there enjoying the golf at the U.S. Open. That's why Dr. Helen Mantilla from First Health Family Care is here with me now. Great to have you here indoors. Hi. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Yeah, so when we talk about staying cool, the obvious answer, <laughs> go inside, but the golf action is outside, so what can yes. we do while we're out there? Well, the key thing to preventing a heat-related illness is to hydrate. Mm. And so the night before your activity event and during the day is drink plenty of water. So every 15 or 20 minutes, you want to be drinking some cool water, maybe even a sports drink, you know, something that will keep you hydrated. Yeah, we hear drink plenty of water, but mm -hmm. what does that mean? I mean, I used to hear it was eight glasses mm -hmm. a day. Then mm -hmm. I heard it was half your body weight. It mm -hmm. seems to change a lot. So what's the appropriate amount? I, I think, you know, the six to eight glasses is appropriate. Okay. And drinking, and most people don't drink that, you know, we'll have the bottle of water and that might sit there on our desk all day. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to an event like the open, we want to hydrate that morning that with breakfast really well, drink a full glass of water. And then during the day, every 15, 20 minutes, keep drinking some fluids. My and key to knowing whether I'm drinking enough is how often I go to the bathroom. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the, the color too. So yeah. if you're urinating, it should look kind of pale and clear. That's a good sign you're hydrated well. If okay. it's looking dark, then you might not be hydrating well. And then protecting yourself from the sun. Yeah. So wearing your sunscreen and reapplying every couple hours or wearing a hat or a visor, you know, something that will protect yourself from getting sunburned mm -hmm. and overheated as well. When it comes to food, are there certain foods that we should eat or avoid when it comes to staying safe? Well, I think, um, you know, eating whatever normal foods that you would um, would eat. Mm -hmm. I think probably trying anything brand new right at an event might not be a good idea. <laughs> um, but you should have a little bit of, um, you know, salt in your diet. Uh, people with high blood pressure shouldn't have too much. But um, we actually lose salt when we sweat a lot. Oh, that's and true. And so eating a little bit um, is, is okay when you're at a big event like the Open. Okay, so how are you treating it when it when this problem does arise? So when people show, um, you know, present, they're nauseous, they're dizzy, you know, they're feeling lightheaded, um, the, big, the first thing is to get them out of the heat. Yeah. And so see if we can get them, you know, indoors into air conditioning or even into a vehicle that has air conditioning, mm -hmm. into a shady spot if there's no uh, air conditioned area available. And then cool them down. Get rid of any, like, tight, you know, unnecessarily clothing that will mm -hmm. really loose. And then start cooling them down. You can spray, you can fan them. Um, ice packs. People might have packed like a little cooler or yeah. something. Um, putting that in the areas of the body that have the most blood flow. So the back of the neck, maybe under the arms, mm. and even on the back, and even in on the groin. So like putting some ice packs where there's lots of blood flow right. to cool you off. Okay. When it comes to children, are the symptoms and the treatment mm -hmm. the same, or do they differ at all from adults? Well, children are more vulnerable. You know, children and the elderly are more vulnerable to heat-related illnesses. So you have to be a little bit more vigilant mm -hmm. about... Um, if they're not acting well, you know, they, um, you know, are acting a little bit more fussy. Yeah. Um, so that could be their sign that they're, uh, they're a little dehydrated. So, um, so to treat them the same way with hydration and then cooling them off, bringing them in. Resting. Yeah. Kids are usually running around. Absolutely. And so they, we have to rest them and uh, cool them down. Well, and this watch is great advice. Signs. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.